Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Hi Miss Katie, hi Miss Cecily. All right, so we are going to start with the fish book about Otto. Miss Katie is going to read. Ooh. Okay, friends. So if you remember, Otto got fed a whole box of food and he's been growing and growing and they finally put him in the swimming pool. He got so big. And they thought the pool would hold him, but Otto went right on growing. And no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone and I called Mr. Carp the man that sold me Otto. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much? I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. And then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things too. Let's see, he has the black box and it looks like a wrench and a hammer and a tiny little fishing net. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool He took his black box with him and all the other things too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down there in the water? Now I could see nothing. Otto's tail disappeared. I could not see Otto, not Mr. Carp, nothing at all. Would I ever see my Otto again? Would I ever see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp, Mr. Carp, I yelled. What are you doing? Are you all right? Then up jumped Mr. Carp. He had a little fish bowl in his hand. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, Please don't feed him too much, just a pinch and no more. Now that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto just a pinch and no more. Never more than a spot where something may happen and I know what. The end. Thank that you, was such Katie. a great story, friends. Thank you for listening. Yeah, I wonder what Mr. Carp did down there. <laughs> All right, thank you. Now, Miss Cecily has a shape game for us. Good afternoon, friends. Today, we are going to talk about a new shape. Do any of you guys know what shape this is? It looks, this is a giant egg, but it is called an oval. Can you say oval? And now I'm going to read a part of dino shapes. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a very happy mother. 
hatching from the oval eggs comes Rexy and her brother. So the eggs are oval. And if you notice, they are, this isn't rock, they are coffee beans, little coffee beans. And coffee beans are oval. You can see a little caterpillar on a leaf. And he is, you can't really tell, but he is made out of little fingerprints. So if you were to stamp your finger and press it on a piece of paper, your fingerprint would be an oval shape too. So next time you eat an egg, you know that is it is the shape of an oval and so you can look around your house and find some things that are oval and i also found an, a few other examples like this mango is oval some jelly beans are oval and i think that's it from this book Oh, I see Miss Tristan found some oval eggs. Thank you, friends. That's right. And so we also wanted to talk about the difference between an oval, which this is an oval, it's egg-shaped, and an ellipse. Sometimes people call ellipses ovals, but an ellipse is the same on the top as it is on the bottom. If I turn it around, it looks the same. With an egg, an egg has a bigger side. And if I turn it around, you can tell the difference. One side is bigger and smaller. So here we have the oval. Oval is egg-shaped. And we have the ellipse, the same on the top and the bottom. Friends, do you have any ellipses at your house? I found some ellipses at my house. I had a magnet that's an ellipse. It's the same on both sides. And this brush was an ellipse. Miss Katie has a necklace that is an ellipse shape. It is the same on the top and the bottom. All right, thank you, friends. Now we're going to end with some animal cards. I found these cards at my house and I wanted to share them with you. These cards have pictures of real animals on them. First one I wanted to show you is a black bear. And it says on the back, there's without the glare. Black bear cubs are born in the winter inside their mother's den. In the spring, about three months after they are born, the cubs leave the den with mom. So here's the black bear cub. When I lived in Montana, I would see a lot of black bears. And here we have one that we, would, we will see in Texas. We have the nine-banded armadillo, but we usually just call it an armadillo. And it says, fun fact. An armadillo has long claws on its feet. Can you make claws with your hands? The claws help it dig for food such as ants. Armadillos like to eat ants. Dig, dig, dig. An armadillo can eat 40,000 ants at one meal. That's a lot of ants. Last animal I'm going to show you is a common octopus. Like when we sing about the octopus inking in the water, this is an octopus. And it says an octopus can hide by changing its color and pattern to match what is around it. That keeps the octopus hidden from enemies. So if something is trying to chase the octopus in the water, it can change its color and its pattern. How interesting is that, friends? It has really good camouflage. Octopus. 
armadillo. Black bear. All right, friends, help me find it. Where is the octopus? Here it is, octopus. Where is the black bear? Black bear. Where is the armadillo? Armadillo. Thank you, friends, for learning about the black bear, the armadillo, and the octopus. And thank you so much for joining us today, friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good afternoon. Bye.